The Lord is coming to get you out of the cinders. Cinders is like a burned piece of coal or wood. It's long stopped giving off its flames. But you know what? It still has a bit of combustible matter in it. So it's like smoldering. <laughs> God is going to pull you out of the cinders. He's getting ready to give you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. People have tried to throw water on you. They've tried to quench you. They've tried to put you out. But you are still smoldering. And God is getting ready to pull you out of the cinders. Remember the story Cinderella? She had a fair godmother, but we're about to fire that out of all of this. We got a father in heaven. But what happened with Cinderella? She was always getting the short end of the stick. She had this wicked stepsisters and the her stepmother, all of them, that felt she was worth nothing. And this is for all male and female that's hearing me right now. My brothers and sisters, there's people who's, who's decided that you're not worth nothing. They give you all, and some of you may literally live like Cinderella in your homes because they, they, you're doing all the housework, you're doing everything. You do all the desirable stuff, undesirable stuff. Everybody's sitting around, you gotta cook, you gotta clean, you gotta do everything. They buy stuff for everybody in the house, but not you. You gotta figure out how you're gonna get stuff. You get the last of stuff. They don't take you out to eat. Everybody leave and go eat. Everybody meet up to go eat out and do stuff. And they don't invite you. That can be going on in your own house. That can be going on. That was going on at your church when it was open. All the sisters, all the brothers, all the who's and who's will get together. And you used to once be in that circle. But no, you don't even get invited. You found out after the fact that they went, oh, we forgot to call you. You know, that usual stuff. Oh, girl, please. Okay. All of that type of stuff, right? You know that they, brother, the other stuff happened. They, they, you know, some, it could have been like you was never even invited in the circle. They'll get together. You trying to fellowship, but you realize it's exclusive. You're not invited. You got to be in the who and who circle and, and you got to be in this type of, you know, uh, economic type of, uh, bracket to hang out. You, you realize that, Hey, they only hang out with certain people, people who got this type of car and this type of house. So they didn't accept you and they put you off to the side. People leave you all alone. You go home all by yourself, right? Nobody to talk to people at your job treating you a certain way. They don't put you off your Cinderella, right? You in the cinders. Let's not say Cinderella. But what happened in that story, guys? What happened in that story? Let's skip past the fairy godmother part. <laughs> and just in, let's insert Christ in that. You see, when, 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 <laughs> when everybody has set you aside and said you're not going to be, God can make something out of nothing and make you be what? They, he will, listen, he will... Thou will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And my brothers, that's what happened in that story, right? My brothers and sisters, she went and they didn't even recognize who she was. And that's what's going to be like with you. God is just going to out of the blue, out of nothing, make your dreams come true. Make the prophecies come true. Make his promises come true. And he's going to do this in the presence of your enemy. Sometimes you'll be like, oh, my enemies, they, they way across town. Trust me, they're going to find out. They will find out. God will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Because they're going to see that, listen, only God could have done this. And they're not going to recognize you. Sometimes they're not going to recognize you, my brother and sisters, because you're just a glowing. They used to seeing you in cinders. They used to seeing you being that lump of coal, that lump of wood, that they, they don't put so much on you that there's nothing left but a little bit of a smolder. But that's you, my brothers and sisters, when you hold on to the promises of God, even when you feel like all oh, has left you, you still continue to hold on and God will come. And God, listen, that little bit of combustible matter inside of you, God will ignite it and make it into a, listen, an unquenchable flame. And he's gonna pull you out the cinders. I promise you that. 
He's going to put you, he's going to pull you out of the cinders. My brothers and sisters, I did a video a long time ago. You got to go find it. You probably won't even recognize me. But the thing is, because I always look different. <laughs> Just different phases of hairstyles and stuff. But my brothers and sisters, this video is was talking about God. The, God is a God of the suddenlies. You see, we... Sometimes we get discouraged in our dark times in our lives and in our walk. And sometimes we get discouraged with what's happening in our lives. And then you read in the Bible about the blind man that just went up to Jesus and he was instantly healed. And, and you see the, the woman with the issue of blood, she went up to Jesus and she was instantly healed. And the men that had the leprosy, he instantly cleansed them. And we see that point and be like, um, hello, what about me, Lord? What I mean, saying? But guess what, my brothers and sisters? Guess what the Lord showed me? And I'm going to share this with you again. The question here is, we look at the suddenly. But the question is, how long did it take? How long was that man blind? How long did they have the leprosy? You see. But they kept faith. We know the lady with the issue of blood, she had it for at least 12 years. So there's a time and a period that she had it. And you may feel like you're in the cinders for so long. But when she saw Jesus, when she touched the hem of his garment, suddenly everything was changed. Suddenly, the men, the people who had leprosy for so long, suddenly they were cleansed. Suddenly, however long, the, the blind man, he was blind since birth. How long? He was a grown man. But when his time with Jesus came, when his window opened, when the time came for him to be pulled out of the cinders, it happened suddenly. Suddenly. So my brothers and sisters, don't get discouraged with time and how long. I already said it. God is a, God exists outside of time. Our earth, our planet, this world is a snow globe. We're inside of it. Oh, it's 2020 April. God is outside of that. Okay? So let me tell you something. No matter how long you think you've been in the cinders and waiting, I'm here to tell you that suddenly it will be turned around. Just like that story with Cinderella, suddenly everything changed. Suddenly, and people were trying to walk in her shoes, but they couldn't. <laughs> Everybody was trying to fit themselves in their shoes, but they couldn't because those shoes was custom made for her. It was going to fit nobody else. Even if somebody was a six and a half like she did, they weren't going to fit in those six and a half because those six and a half shoes was for her. So your tailor-made suddenly is coming. Your tailor-made change is coming. Your suddenly, suddenly is coming suddenly. So you need to keep yourself in a place of humbleness before the Lord to trust him. That he will bring you out. You will not be in the ashes for long. Because God sees the beauty of you even when you're in the ashes. He saw your beauty before he changed you. So even though you feel like a lump of burnt wood. And you feel like a piece of coal right now. Barely flickering. God is saying, hold on. Hold on. Guys, walk in Revelation chapter 3, 7 through 11. That says, hold on, let no one steal. Not steal. Let no one take your crown. You see, nobody can steal it. But they can give you to give it up. Stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. God is getting ready to pull you out of the cinders. My brothers and sisters, always behave yourself wisely no matter where you're at. This pleases the Lord. And he's going to pull you out and he's going to establish you and he's going to set your feet in an even place. And he's going to let your enemies that came at you one way scatter before you seven. And God is going to pull the hair out of their hairy scalp. I saw that in the Bible. I cracked up laughing. It is now my favorite scripture. Pull the hairs out of the hairy scalp, Jesus. I love it, okay? He will break the teeth of your enemies. But all you need to do, don't get there where you want to pull the hair out of their scalp and you want to break their teeth. You need to continue to behave yourself wisely before your heavenly father in word, in deed, in action, in thought, in responses. Let it all be tailored to the word of God. And I guarantee you, my brothers and sisters, that you will see the salvation of the Lord. 
He's getting ready to pull you out of the cinders. Get excited. Peace out.